Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so unfortunately, because of the um, the starting screen I've got now, um, I just missed something. So we got 3,600 from the, potato, uh, the french fries. So yeah, unfortunately, I didn't quite get it in time. But um, yeah, so it said this pallet is now full afterwards as well. So that basically means that the 25 or whatever I'd stacked there, it did only take 18, unfortunately. So, yeah, on Sundays, um, yeah, he doesn't take more. Um, but that's all right, it doesn't matter. So, uh, I'll bring these down, and uh, then I'm going to do a basil thing. There's my potato. I thought I'd lost that for a moment. But, yeah, hope you're all well. Hope you're all having a good one. As I record this, it's Saturday, so this will be coming out on Sunday. So yeah, I hope you're having a good weekend so far. Right. Okay. So, I'm going to pause it here, get the thing down, and then I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, so this is the last one to take down, and if I remember right, I cleared up all the pots that had been um, just left abandoned at the side of the road. So, um, I'll leave this bit in, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly take a note of that number. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm going to go and plant all of these, and because I don't want you uh, wasting your time in electric, I'll do this off camera. So I'm not going to do another potato um, plant for ages now because it just takes so much time as I demonstrated in one of the episodes yesterday. So again, I'm just going to pause this and I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so a lot more than I thought. So there's 797 pots down here. Um, that's quite extreme, isn't it? Um, yeah, genuinely, I was shocked by that. Anyway, right, so, um, uh, can't do anything with this, because obviously, yeah, it's not 227%, and we'll pop that in there, and then pop that one up there. I do want to uh, clear all of this, and I think this is the best way for me to do it, so I'll just always leave this at 100%, and then when I need some fertilizer, I can just pop them out from here. Um... Maybe I'll have, I don't know, five or ten of them somewhere. Uh, but yeah, right, nice one. So, I have been challenged to do something on here. And uh, yeah, it's going to be stressful, but I'm going to do it. So, what I'm going to do now is um, actually sleep. So, you've had your pet treat today. And what we need to do is we need to kind of fast forward through until Monday and um, so just while he's sleeping a quick apology about um, Sons of the Forest so basically um, a setting's changed somewhere um, that's really affecting the volume bugger I can't do that anyway um, really affecting the volume and that's meant that the uh, some of the sounds are louder than my voice on there and it's nearly impossible to watch uh, really infuriating um, but obviously, yeah, I did do some tests and it seemed all right on my uh, PC, but that problem should be solved in the next recording, so I am sorry about that. Right, let's waste some time up at the maple syrup place and uh, Leo can just walk up there and meet us up there. And then, um, yeah, oh, the bloody steering wheel. Right, let's try and drive up without the steering wheel. It's so difficult. Yeah, huge respect for the YouTubers that just do this through their keyboard and mouse, because I just cannot do it. It's horrendous. Right. Yeah, I've never been good with um, WASD for driving. Where's the light switch? There it is. Uh, pop that down there. 
Right, so I'm going to skip through some of these just to get them out of the way and uh, I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so that's a few more of the cans sorted out. I'm not going to do them all, but um, yeah, so that will do. So we might as well go and sleep now and then uh, that will give us a good amount of time to do this little challenge. Okay, right. All right, Leo. Here he comes. Yeah, it's still obviously a lot more trees I could connect up, but it's just not worth it. Wait, let's fill this water up. Nice. Perfect. Right. Poutine. We are actually kind of running out, aren't we? In the house. We've got a lot still left in the shed. So that's all right. Okay, so we'll be taking the beamer out on Monday. And I might as well just pick the old tablet up and go down there now. So Leo, do you want to come with us, mate? Get him his treat. Oh, I unlocked that by accident. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I've been playing so many different games recently. And everything's got a different configuration. It's, yeah, quite something. Right, so I'll leave the automatic gearbox in for now. And I'll leave it in number two for the NOS. Right, lights. <laughs> right, here we go. Handbrake still on. Great start. I can't wait to be able to have other cars on here. Yeah, over a million, almost 1.2 million. And uh, driving around in quite an old car, even though this is meant to be set in 2004, is it? It's quite an old car by that point, I think. And considering it was rusty when we first laid eyes on it. Right. Yes, so the challenge is um, to get Mel to come back home. No, the challenge is to see how many pops I can get back on this BMW. So I think I'm going to be able to get all 10 on. Because, uh, yeah, that's the kind of bloke I am. So we're going to jump out quickly and save it. Oh, actually, let's let Leo out. So I did actually get Leo some water for up here. Um, so I filled it up down there at the water. So he's got food and water. So he'll be absolutely fine there for a bit. Right, so I'm going to skip some time. It's only an hour, but I'm going to skip some time of this. Might as well. And then let's buy them pots. So I'm going to try and do it all external. And if I succeed in this, I'm going <laughs> to... I don't mind. I'm going to, um, yeah, try and bring two lots back. So this will be 10, obviously. So I'll cut this bit out, but you will see the journey. So back in just a moment. Okay, so that's all 10 on. Um, be a little bit difficult to see where I was driving. And uh, I don't think we're going to get back with all of these, but I genuinely am going to try my best. So we've got an automatic, so it should be a little bit smooth. Probably won't be using the NOS, if I'm honest. 
Right. Careful. Careful. This cab... Oh, no! Usually gets me. Right. I do kind of wish that there was a... Um, heads-up display of your... Yeah, miles per hour. And also, I really do wish... You could press a button for the ignition. You might be able to, so... Before the end of the episode, I will check the um, key binds. Oh, that was a backfire, wasn't it? I will check the key binds and see whether there is an ignition. Doesn't seem to be I. Yeah, because I quite like the um, second camera angle. So you've got the first one, which is obviously sitting in the driver's seat. And then you've got the next one, which is on the, um, on the bonnet. And I do like that camera angle, but you can't tell what gear you're in, and you can't restart the car when you stall it either. I needed a bit of a yeah break yesterday, and I went on Forza 5 again. And I do like that game. The graphics, absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, it kind of like the actual driving physics really bug me like you can drift in a front wheel drive car like exceptionally easily and uh yeah it's a shame because one of my favorite cars is on there the Renault Clio Williams oh don't fall and uh yeah but when you tune it up a little bit and you're like drifting it even though it's front wheel drive it kind of ruins it for me but I have been playing Beam MG and by the time this episode comes out um, yeah at least one episode of Beam MG would have come out as well we're going to lose it oh maybe not we're doing alright sorry if this is really boring for you but I've been challenged to do it challenge accepted and so far challenge going smoothly so obviously next time I need to bring at least 15 back but you know I'm going to go for 20 and yeah soup so um, I'd highly recommend trying to plug in any old controller to um, play this so um, it works through my PS4 controller and my knockoff Xbox you know replica and it does make driving a lot more simple and smooth oh it's so close but I think personally that that was uh, that was close enough to home the caller win so next time I'll try and bring back more pops but for now, I'm going to have to, um, yeah, pop these down in the basement, aren't I? This really isn't growing on me. I didn't realise them two bits were empty. Hmm. Does the other bumper have fog lights? Just can't remember. Right, let's pop this in here for now. No, I'll do that off camera. Right. Um, I'll be back in just a moment. Uh, just got 1200 for something. I can't remember what that was. Uh, oh, it must have been from French fries. Okay, right. So, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so just about to bring the last pot back. And then this will be 807 plant pots we've got downstairs. So, that's quite something, isn't it? Really? Yeah, I didn't think it was anywhere near that amount. It doesn't look like it, does it? It's um, deceptive. But I'm pretty sure one seed is one pot. Let's um, quickly give it a try. So, 7062. Yeah, so that is right. Well, who would have thought it? Nice. So, why is there... Seven. So does that mean that there's three left somewhere on the map? It must do, mustn't it? Because I wouldn't have bought an odd number of them. I don't know. 
Right, so let's fill that up for you, Leo. Oh god, he's almost out of food. He isn't really. We've got um We've got bags everywhere. I think we've still got some up at the old um thing me jig over there. Or at least one left. Right, so we need some maple syrup. Donk. And we don't really need poutine yet. I might as well make some more. Okay. I should be taking a load of uh, maple syrup up to the thing, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'll do that. No, I won't. Leo, come on. We're doing a drug run, mate. Because then it means I can uh, back this in when we get back. So... I don't think you can fit in one of these in the back of the beamer. I think it's too tall. Yeah, it's too tall, isn't it? Shame. So these are going to have to, as always, just pop in the back there. And I should take some maple syrup down for them as well. Uh, but I haven't got any full crates down there, have I? Because you can build a relationship up with them. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I really should do the maths on uh, how much money we actually make from a thing. Actually, I think I did, didn't I? I don't know. Played so many different games, it's really difficult to keep up. Right, Leo, in you get, mate. And sorry about this, but that's happening. That's a thing now. Right. Okay. So that's another 30 grand. For no reason, really. We'll go in automatic again. Because, uh, yeah, why not? And we'll use some NOS on the way there. So we do have... Um, Oh, actually, before I do that, let's have a quick look at keybinds. Yeah, we do have another full thing of um, NOS. Uh, ignition is what I'm after. No, it's no good to us. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Right, so let's go. Yeah, we do have some more um, NOS, and it's not that expensive, so I can always buy some more. So, let's press the button. Yeah, on the automatic it obviously won't be uh, that effective because it still changes gear um, a little bit too early. Twirly, if I'm honest. At, that's the thing, like, it's, um, it's realistic and the fact that it changes up too quick. But, it's not quite realistic because obviously with an automatic, if you're just putting a small amount of throttle input it will change up a lot earlier than when you put your foot down and obviously this doesn't seem to have kick down either right easy easy nope round we go hold it yeah, and BeamMG I've been playing here and there as well, and I, I do really like that game. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite rewarding when you take a car that's really bad handling and just drive it for, yeah, five minutes or whatever, and then you feel like you've mastered it. You know, you feel like you've got that kind of, uh, yeah, control over it. And I've just realised it's already the end of the episode. So uh, I'll end it here. And um, I won't drive anymore because some people like seeing this driven. So let's just stop here for a moment. And then I'll start one straight away. So thank you for joining us, everyone. <laughs> really appreciate each and every view. And if you've liked this, please feel free to join us in the next one. So cheers, everyone. And bye for now.